Hi folks, uh, I'm just doing a brief overview of the dual boot option on my Samsung Galaxy S3. I got this when I installed the Foxon ROM.8, Crazy Sliver ROM.8 on my phone. You can see it's clockwork mod based recovery of CR kernel and you can see the last option on is dual boot. I just thought I'll show you how to install by a dual boot the second ROM on your phone. It's pretty easy, uh, just go to dual boot option click on home button and then you can see so many options ok I already have a ROM installed I don't use it much but I just thought I'll show how to do install the second ROM first you go to the formats you can see the option format second ROM system click on the home button and then yes and you can see the message coming up formatting second system image done and now the usual wipe second ROM data catch boom click wipe yes there goes on see the message there clearing second ROM data done and then the Dalvik catch and you click on yes boom you can get the message it's wiped now we are back to the main screen. Now you can go to install zip. Uh, in the internal memory I have not installed anything. But in the external memory I have installed so you click on that option. And then you can see. Uh, click on android. I saved in android and you can see I have made uh, installed 3 ROMs actually. I can install each any of these 3 ROMs. One of the Foxon Solid Snake Cyanogen Mod ROM. One of the Liquid Jelly Bean ROM. We would release Candy 5 and one of the Super Nexus ROM. Super Nexus ROM was the first ROM which I installed on my phone, that is the Jelly Bean ROM. Anyway, I'm going to install all the three ROMs and review it. First, starting with the F oh, sorry, Fox Sound ROM. This is a very small ROM, it's just 243 MB. It's based on the latest one, 4.1.2. You see, just go on like this. You see the message popping up. Solid snake. It has a very nice symbol. See? And now the options you can see here. Portion point one. Then you can choose whatever installation you want. Custom, I've taken custom in this. You get it based on last CM updated aroma. You get the new uh, Gmail 4.2 then you can choose what you want just the usual step which kernel stock or zero kernel box on black end no launcher you want G apps to be installed yes and then what are the two things you want to get the file manager and auto flash play ok and then click on boot and now it's booting I'll just show you the link of the page this is the link of the page Fox sound solid snake point one cyano asop performance and you can see welcome to this download you can see the steps clearly mentioned here i'll put the link in my uh, page and you can see the same thing that you saw that you you can see read over here and you can see it's, it installs pretty fast because it's a very light rom just 243 mb unlike the standard foxtown rom which is based on samsung kernel for around it's around 889 MB or something, 890 MB or something. Yep, 100% done. And then click, then reboot your system. Pow. Rebooting. Now you can see the login screen is standard Samsung Galaxy S3, and then you get an option to dual boot. One, two. Okay, when you press the home button or volume up button, you go to the second very ROM. Okay, this is a standard boot up. Fox sound. Since it's the first time it's running, it'll take around one or two minutes. I like the very nice display. I mean the image Fox sound. That gets booted up. Can show you the website more. It's got very good comments. Very very small ROM downloading. And trying, I'm using a 0.8. I was actually making a ROM for the one on my phone, 0.9. But this guy is really crazy. He, I crazy in the sense in a nice way. He keeps updating his ROM every second or third day. Now it's come to 
So now I can't give that. Okay, and here it comes. He's an Italian guy. He was known as Batista before in S2. Now you can change the language to English Canada. I'm just setting up to show it. The uh, Gmail. I don't want to set up anything. No. Okay. This one belongs to yes, but anything. Pop. You see? If we agree your phone may receive yep. Phone setup is ready and Yep, there it is. Click on this. You can see. This is this this is based on Jelly Bean. 4.1.2 you can see it's pretty fast uh, setting to the settings go to about phone yeah 4.1.2 the latest version of it and you can see it's got Wi-Fi all the basic stuff you can change theme everything you can change everything in this I'm not going to do that there's a profiles option which you don't get in the normal one and if you make the phone faster you can go to developer on the developer options sorry. on the developer options and just remove all the animations you know option to remove all the animation here allow force use of gpu for 2d drawing then you can if you shut down animation will be a little faster You can see it's got a music player, Apollo music player, the Cyanogen mod music player. And you can see it's still downloading something. Okay, now back to the home page. You can see. You can see now it, it gets slightly faster and it gives you the ICS camera, I mean Android camera. You can get all the options. It is a pretty smooth ROM, it's fast, pretty fast ROM. This is a new Gmail. Fortunately, I haven't set it up to show anything. Okay, that's just about it. This is the Fox Sound ROM. And now all the signs and base and mod ROMs will look the same. but. Like I said, this is a, just a secondary ROM, I won't be using it much. You get a few features and this extra one is the DSP manager. You... Let me see anything extra. You get the music player, the Apollo music player, which looks nice. Unlike the other two ROMs which I will now install and show you. And you get terminal evaluator, software tweaks, super user. And this, what's extra stuff? Yeah, you get... Yeah, this one, Fox Sound Extra, Launcher, Lock Screen, Theme, System can change all that that's just about it and i just hope this is you like this video now next to uh, on to my next video till then bye bye